Welcome to Golf Struck. I'm Ozzie Carlson. Our featured tour player today is one of our all-time favorites, the Big Easy, Mr. Ernie Els, who's just been inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame. And Ernie, though that's a great accomplishment, I know you're frustrated because you haven't been in the winner circle anywhere near as often as your ball striking would indicate you should be. What I'm seeing is too many short putts missed, particularly left. So for all of you who are out there struggling with the same problem that Ernie has, here's what I see and here's what will solve the problem. Ernie, as I watch you stroke your short putts, I'm seeing you open up so I can see your right shoulder and your right forearm as you go through. When we're working down line, we should never see the right hand, the right forearm, the right shoulder, the right shoulder blade, the right hip, the right knee or the right ankle. What we've got going on with your stroke is that tendency for the right side to try to do all of the work, the left side's quitting and spinning left. So we need to get that left side to stay in charge so your putter stays on line with acceleration. Here's a simple little drill that'll work for all of us who are struggling with that problem of pulled putts to the left. Simply put two clubs down a straddling a golf hole and put the ball at the back end of the grips. We're going to now swing to the front end of the grips. Set up so that you feel like your left side, if you take your back swing and stop, is being pulled through from your ankles, up through your knees, through your hips, through your shoulder blades, to the end of those grips. We want to swing to a very specific finish position Observe that we're on line with the face square with the handle still connected to the left neck fixed fulcrum. We're going to stroke some putts that way. Observe the finish. Observe the roll of the ball so the ball is rolling true. So we're always going to put a line on the ball. Take the time to line the ball up. Get the feel of the right side staying in behind the left side and swinging on line with the face square with the body pulling us through, rolling the ball through. When you get that, Ernie, with your left side, then let's repeat it with the right side. Set up to feel the right side in behind and up against the left side. Get the putter back here and feel your whole body pulling it through to the end of those grips. Observe your finish. Observe the roll of the ball. Once you can do that each hand alone, and you're rolling the ball over a specific blade of grass in the middle of that cup, then let's put the two hands together where we feel again the whole body's pulling us through to the end of those grips, watching that ball roll absolutely true over that blade of grass. Now you've got your left side and your right side on the same page, both working toward your finish position. And when you can get to your finish position online with the face square at the putter's own natural speed, now you've solved both the line and the speed problem. You'll start making all those putts that have been keeping you out of the winner's circle. We look forward to seeing you there again soon. And for all of you who are struggling with the same problem, this little drill is the best thing that I've found to, to get you accurate for both line and speed with a left side feel and a right side feel with consistency. I'm Ozzie Carlson, Golf Struck. Better golf right now.